theatre is for the people. However you look at it, if they can take their brilliant pieces of work and take them out to the people, it's gonna be an attractive idea. I hate this estate. Yeah, I knew it's where you'd be. What I don't understand is why you love it so much. It's ugly. It's full of all sorts. It's home. Ain't full of nothing but family. These people ain't your family. You think you're gonna be able to rely on them? Which one of them would have noticed if you never reached your bed tonight? You know, I didn't rape no girl. Not because they're women at night, because they know the way family do. I wish I could know. I really do. But your dad had a gift for lying. I'm not my dad! No. I'm nothing like him! Andre. I hate him! I know. Well, then I hate you for seeing him and me. I know. Mom, go home. The play is about a rumour a young black Afro-Caribbean boy has been accused of being involved in a possible gang rape of a young Asian girl. And I think it sets up very nicely the idea of what would you believe. What's great about this building for our play is that it brings this type of work to the heart of the community. It brings um, plays that intrinsically are about um, ethnic minorities and it puts it right in the heart of where they live. Just the idea of coming from the station or walking around the corner and what you have to embrace before you walk into the building, it kind of does a lot of the, the job that the piece is trying to do already. We hope it gives you a deeper understanding of the challenges that the characters are facing within the lives that Rachel has created for these people. The building and the design is part of the storytelling. I think the audience walk in before the play's even begun and they're already feeling uncomfortable and they're already aware that something could happen that they have no control over. By the end, I, I hope they feel uncomfortable. Right, how about trying to find me a new focus then, eh? Um, why are we out, please? We both know the only reason that you agreed to come out was to get away from those protesting hooligans on our doorstep. Well, whatever the reason, I'm thinking hot, rich banker. Mmm, interesting. Seen any potentials? Him at the other end of the bar hasn't taken his eyes off you since we arrived. He's wearing a suit. All right, subtle, George Sussel. He's white. Uh, let's broaden the pool a bit, eh? Fair point. He's kind of cute. Do you think I've lost weight? Yeah. Okay, switch seats so I can get eye contact. I hope Marcus wasn't too pissed that we left him all alone on his first official night in. If he even stayed in. Oh, bless him. So come on then. What's he like? Marcus? Yeah. In bed. What on earth makes you ask that question now after all this time? Well, for starters, I think it's important that we decipher whether he's truly worth all this drama. <laughs> Plus, I need to know if this new living arrangement will affect my sleeping pattern. Theatre should be here. It should be something that people are allowed to actually you know, be a part of on their doorstep. The, the idea of having the Royal Court Theatre here was about building something a bit more long-term. It wasn't about a short-term, let's do some plays and go out. It was more of a question of, um, of working together and seeing how we could actually spread the word off theatre. And one of the things they're doing, which is really fantastic, are the workshops for young people to actually learn how to write plays. And hopefully, when they do move, some of those plays might become a reality and actually be staged here. I got involved with the Royal Court Writing Programme um, by submitting a piece of writing. They kind of advertise it on their website. Um, they do these kind of under 25 introduction to playwriting courses, submit a piece of writing, and then they invite you down to kind of do these 10, 11 week courses. I was doing my final redraft before we went into rehearsals as the riots were happening. So I was kind of sat in my flat and I had the news on, like Sky News on in the background, I had my laptop open with Facebook, I had my phone in my hand with Twitter and it was just like, riots, this happening in Clapham, this happening in Tottenham, this happening, this happening. And um, my play, obviously, as you know, it was written two years ago. Um, but the rewrite, what I found most important was making it just more relevant and more fitting to today. And in my initial draft, like the riot and the kind of um, widespread gossip, the spiralling of the vicious rumour, it kind of went out of control through the use of a pirate radio station. And that's kind of what initiated it and what kind of reached out to the people. And then you only had to watch the riots that happened this summer and see the impact of Facebook and social networks and YouTube. 
So you get your traditional theatre goer coming, but you also get a lot of local people coming to the theatre, I think for the first time a lot of people, um, and a lot of young people that come to our events, whether it be music events or film events, are actually here as well. So um, it's really proven, even with the content of the style of play with the Westbridge, it's appealing to a, a mass market, and it's really fantastic to see so many different kind of groups of people mixing together and gathering together in one space to appreciate something on the same level. I think when you have uh, a black and white and Asian, uh, a completely mixed audience, there's different things that people pick up on in a different way, a different understanding is shared of the work and I think that's always going to be the most important and vibrant experience for people.